I used to think as soon as I had to reach out in my head, I was like, it's over. It's over. I'm going back downstairs. <laughs> I have to go back downstairs. It's they're... over. <laughs> You're not getting lips tonight. <laughs> Fur, 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 fur. Actually, no, wait. Intro. Mm. Hit me. Intro. Hit me. Patreon. Oh, you know the vibes. You know the vibes, guys. You already know the vibes, guys. Um, So, Patreon is boogie oogie oogie now. As per normal. As per normal, you run over there every Thursday and you get the extra laughs. That's 50% of the content for three pound a month. That's all we're asking. Three That's pound a base, month. Base minimum. Three baseline. Pound. Baseline. Three pound a month. 10p a day. 10p a day. Run the P, man. Run the P. That's it. So um, hop on over there. Enjoy yourself. Mm. Live lavish. Laugh it up every Thursday. And you get the stuff that we're not allowed to say on mm. here. Mm. That's the thing. You get the stuff that you were not allowed to say. Mm. And um, I don't know what more we can ask for. So hop on over. It's patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Enjoy yourself. And. Um, yeah, man, now we're actually going to get into the episode. We're going to get into the episode. Okay. Let's go. Come okay. on, man. Um, <clears throat> so this fun fact is about boxing um, or boxing film, Rocky. While filming Rocky IV, um, Sylvester Stallone asked Dolph Lundgren, Lundgren sorry, to hit him for real. Dolph agreed and then hit him so hard that Stallone had to spend nine days in recovery in intensive care. In a later interview... Dolph showed no sympathy, stating, "All I did was obey his orders." That's the the Russian guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This brother, man, said, "All I did was obey his orders." He stayed in character. Fam. <laughs> he stayed in he character. He rocked his jaw, and Sylvester Stallone spent nine days in intensive care. That's why you know you're a man's man, isn't it? You know you're a man's man. <laughs> Who's Stallone or the other brother? The other guy. I was gonna say. Rocky yep. Man's jaw is in intensive for in one bang. Intensive care. Mad. <laughs> Mad. If I was Stallone and I came out after that, I'm cutting the whole movie short. <laughs> I'm tearing the contract then Stop and there. Stop production now. So now my life is on the line. Yeah. To be fair, why would you say hit me for real? He he wanted to be in character. I get it. I get it. I get it. But big man, Michael B. Jordan got tumped up as well in Creed, didn't it? Bad. By um. Banged. The Liverpool I, guy. I can't remember his name, but yeah, banged. What the fuck is his name? I don't know his name, bro. I, I think I know his name. Mm. I just can't remember it. His name is... Um, he fought the other... No, he didn't. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. I'm so bad with names. People are probably screaming it. But anyway, yeah, the guy from Liverpool mm. that's in Creed. Um, yeah, he, he, he I'm, I'm pretty sure he gave him a concussion. Damn. Banged him. But I'm not surprised getting hit by a boxing glove for how it feels like headache wise mm -hmm. is worse than a bare fist. Mm. Bro, it rocks okay, your I'm, fucking I'm, I've head. never boxed before, so I don't, I don't know. Like, had a spa before. So your I don't head. Know. You can feel your brain mm. moving around. Speaking of boxing, did you watch the Anthony Joshua fight? I, I, watched, I didn't watch it live. I watched the highlights. Okay. I've not even seen, obviously, I didn't watch it live either. I was at work, but I haven't seen any of the highlights or anything. It went, it went all the rounds, no? Yeah. Yeah. And give AJ me, got tumped up. I was gonna say, give me your, give me your synopsis AJ of it. AJ got smacked up. <laughs> so no, like no sympathy, yeah. nothing. Sympathy. I'm asking. I don't know. I don't know. I've not seen it. All I know is that he lost. He got smacked up. Mm. Smacked up in that last round as well. His team threw in the towel. No. But no one knows this. This is the funny thing. Okay. No one knows this. So. In the last round, the last 10 seconds, mm -hmm. AJ was getting tarted up. <laughs> Donnie was putting paws on him. Yeah, tarted up. And um, basically, and you see the bottom left corner mm -hmm. of the screen, the mm -hmm. timer, where the timer is, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, they do the, the little whatever yeah, it is. To the, signal 10 seconds. To left, signal 10 seconds. Yeah. And then or the, it's like a wood clap, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's 10 seconds. It says here, it goes 10, 9, at eight, the graphic comes off the screen. Two seconds later, they ring the bell. There was five seconds left in that round. Mm. Six, five, five, six seconds left in that round. Anthony was getting banged. Oh, really? And everyone's like, what the fuck happened? Like, mm. why, would, why would they cut it short? 
Um, and they're like, oh, we're trying to... That A lot of people, the narrative for a lot of it was they're trying to save face for Anthony in case he was going to get knocked out in the last few seconds of the, of the okay. final round. But someone... Wait, who said that? That was just the narrative in the media. Okay. That okay. like they... And Joshua has got it's got such there's so many millions of pounds wrapped around the uh, career of AJ yeah. that they can't afford him to get knocked out mm-hmm. in the last round. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the last couple fight. ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So okay, they locked okay, off okay. the whole fight a okay. few seconds early. Okay. So that was the narrative. But then I saw a guy on TikTok who caught it from a different angle. Mm-hmm. And then it look you look over at AJ's corner and they're waving the towel. They're waving the towel. Okay. So that's why they, re- I think that's why the, the bell guy saw that. Mm. The ref hadn't seen the towel. Mm. The bell guy saw it and rang the bell. Um, but because the ref didn't see it, it never went forward as a, a TKO, okay. which it should. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it just went down as that's the end of the fight. Say swear. Bro, Anthony got touched up. Apparently, I can't remember. What's this guy's name? Is that Usyk or something? What's it like? Uh, yeah, Usyk. Usyk, yeah. He apparently... Um, he still had enough energy to go again. Oh, yeah. He looked active, apparently. He was, he was ready, fam. The thing is, as well, it's tough. This is... Right. This is the tough thing about boxing is mm. because for some reason, I don't know when, I don't know, around about... I, I guess it's it's kind of Mayweather's fault. Mm-hmm. It was kind of around that Mayweather stroke. Um, oh, God. This is me with names again. Um, who's the guy? Who's the fucking druggy guy? Uh, uh, Ricky Hatton. Okay, I've seen, he's he's money based. Yeah, I, see him quite, I say quite a bit. I see him once in a while. Is he fat still? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ricky Hatton. Yeah, he was undefeated before he fought Mayweather as well. Okay, so around about this Mayweather era, there's this boxing culture that came around that you have to be undefeated. Okay, you're just no one unless you're undefeated. Okay, so just losing's not a thing. Mm-hmm. But everyone lost mm-hmm. back in the day. Everyone used to lose. Muhammad mm-hmm. Ali lost three times, four times. Um, and there was never like a shake on his name. Mm-hmm. He's still Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. Muhammad Ali lost. Mike Tyson lost. Um, Evander Holyfield's lost. Uh, David Hay definitely lost. He's been losing. <laughs> He's been losing. <laughs> From David Hay stays losing. <laughs> um, all the greats lost. Mm. Um, Mayweather was the only one that's like shot forward this like narrative that like you have to be undefeated mm-hmm. um even though he's not the one saying it that's mm-hmm. just how it is mm-hmm. so if you're a bo- they build so much around these boxes uh tyson fury wilder and aj the the three kings mm. like they're fighting again this this uh well, well it would have been, been last week yeah 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 yeah, yeah, week, yeah yeah so they're fighting again yeah uh, well they would have fought already yeah. by the time this comes out but um yeah like they're just not allowed to lose mm. and aj losing last time was a shake that other brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a shake up. But then he came back and mm. wrapped him up. <laughs> wrapped him up like a present. <laughs> Which is Appar- what he should have done. Yeah, yeah. Apparently there's gonna be a, a second fight. Um because I was well, I say apparently, it who knows? It was all it was all like Chinese whispers and second second ears and stuff. Because I was at work one day and coincidentally, I think maybe two or three days after the fight, the CEO of Under Armour and one of the owners of or like a high representative or maybe ceo or ceo of jd sports we're having dinner together in my spot um and they were just talking obviously talking about the aj fight and blah blah, blah. and the jd brother was like oh they're definitely having another fight who aj and who this other brother that day he just fought you sick yeah oh who yeah they think, will have a fight who do you think i was talking about i thought you were talking about the last brother no 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 Ram, no, 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 no 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 yeah this aj and you sick are definitely having another this fight brother, yeah 100 yeah, yeah. yeah. aj will tear him up as well yeah that's just how AJ fights. Mm. It's just like, I feel like sometimes, obviously I don't see his training camp and all this stuff. Mm. I feel like AJ falls into his own, like, how do I explain it? It's tough for AJ. He, to, AJ's never had to struggle with context. He's never, like, AJ is, AJ is someone who potentially has, has the potential to be an amazing fighter, mm-hmm. but ne- doesn't hasn't necessarily had the life experience to be one. So, if you think about AJ's career, right? Mm-hmm. So let's take about we'll talk about Mayweather's career versus AJ's career, right? Okay, you would know a lot more than me. I'm just right. So yeah, I'll talk you through yeah. it. Right. So if you look at both of them, are like uh, Olympic athletes, right? Mm-hmm. So you look at Mayweather's career. 
His very his career is very similar to AJ's in terms of in terms of um, they were both like very successful amateur boxers, mm -hmm. and then because they were so successful, were uh, kind of guided through their professional career. Mm -hmm. The difference is is at a lighter weight class, it's harder to find a guy that you can one hundred percent smack up. Okay. Because at the lighter weight classes, it's more skill and speed. Mm -hmm. At the, you've seen some of the donuts AJ's had fights with. Mm -hmm. They look like they've never boxed before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what happens yeah. at the heavyweight. Uh, okay. You're not as skilled. You're okay. strong you're as just fuck. Strong, yeah. But you're not as skilled. I'm with so it's you. easier to be. If you're a good boxer, I'm with it's you. easier to do well in the heavyweight division. I'm with you. I'm with you. So Mayweather, but May, the difference with Mayweather is his uncle and his dad were both ex-professional boxers. Mm -hmm. He's been boxing since he was a little kid mm -hmm. with professional boxers his whole life. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's one of the greatest boxers who ever lived. Mm -hmm. AJ, on the other hand, is a big Nigerian kid who obviously boxed, came up the same path everyone else did mm. and did very well. I think he won the gold in the Olympics mm. um, in the super heavyweight division, I think. It was a while back, no? Like, oh, years ago. 2012 or maybe 20... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. But this is the thing as well that no one was talking about. Usyk won a gold in the heavyweight division in the exact same Olympics. Really? Oh, again, I would They're never both gold, medal gold medalist Olympians. Mm. But Usyk... People talk like it's a huge upset that Usyk beat AJ. Mm. He's a gold medalist. Mm. He's, a re he's the real fucking deal. Yeah. He's no joke. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so Mayweather came up. He's a bred boxer. Mm. He he did well. I think he got silver in the Olympics. Okay, he, I don't think he got he got silver in the Olympics. He came up. Obviously, he got his fights picked for him early on, etc., etc. But he's picked his fights his whole career. But he is literally one of the best boxers, if not the best boxer power for pound who ever lived. But that's because of his upbringing mm -hmm. and his like his ethos around boxing. Boxing is his life. Mm. AJ is someone who's come in. Box and taking the exact same grassroots approach. Um, he hasn't had boxing in his house. Mm. Like his dad is not a professional boxer mm, mm. who forced him to be like the prodigy. Mm. He's come up through grassroots, happened to be a big kid, was probably quite talented and did very well in the amateurs for his size. Mm. If you actually look at his boxing skill and ability, take loads of weight off him, he would get destroyed in a, 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 a lighter weight class. Okay. Absolutely annihilated based on his skill level. Mm -hmm. um, but because he's done so well, he was a ute when he won the gold medal mm. in the Olympics. So he as soon was, as he was he, scrawny, a lot scrawny. Yeah, yeah, he was a lot. ute, bro. So yeah. he's been taken from this Olympic, like handsome, young, black, UK male, mm. win the gold in the Olympics. Mm. They've cherry picked him yeah. when he had way more growing to do, yeah. way more growing to do to become a better boxer. Mm. And they've been like, cool, fight this scrub. You're better than him. Fight him, you're better than him. Fight him, you're better than him. Fight him, you're better than him. He's had one or two difficult fights in order to get the belts. He's got the belts. And he's never really had to face hardship. Yeah. Like real hardship. He's only now facing the big boys because he's got no one left. And people are surprised why he's losing. Mm. It's like he's never had to fight anyone hard in his entire life. Mm. Like a few, obviously in the amateurs and stuff, maybe he's a kid. Mm. As a grown ass man, he's never had to fight anyone like who is a seriously skilled boxer. And when he has, um, he's either had the hardest fight of his fucking life or he's lost and then had to come back and win, mm. which is, and then he's, he's very next opponent. He's lost again. And he's going to have to come back and win again, mm. which he will. But I feel like sometimes he falls within the the premise of his own narrative. Okay. That people build him up to be the best boxer England's ever had. And he is not. Mm. And that's not his fault. Mm. So I don't have any hate towards AJ. It's not his fault. But sometimes I feel like he falls into that narrative. And he gets a wake up call when he loses. Yeah. And he comes back and tumps people up. Yeah. Which is great. Mm -hmm. But people don't give him the chance to lose and come back. Mm -hmm. When he loses, he's forgotten. And he has to seriously, like, he's already on the cusp of falling out of these three kings. He's mm. lucky that Wilder and Fury are fighting. Yeah. For the third time. Yeah. Because one of them is Happy losing each yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, of them yeah, is losing yeah. each time. So it yeah. makes it even for him to lose. Yeah. Whereas if Wilder was off doing his thing, Fury was off doing and his thing. And they both won. And they're not, they're, but this man ain't losing, fam. Yeah, yeah. Wilder knocks people out in one punch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man ain't losing. Yeah. Tyson Fury is potentially one of the best heavyweights who ever lived. Mm. 
Like his skill for his size doesn't make sense, big mm. man. These men ain't going to be losing if they're within their own separate lanes. Mm. And then AJ was just going over here, getting tomped up by every le- <laughs> Tom, Dick and Harry. AJ will get slapped out of the race. Mm. Slapped out of the race. Fair enough. It's only because these two are fighting each other mm. that he's allowed to stay in this community. Okay. But he has the potential, but he's got like, he needs like another three, four years. And he's never faced any of them too, has he? Oh, no. No, no, no. Because I know, and, I remember Wilder was trying to get on him. Oh, yeah. Ago, both of them yeah. are trying to get on him. Yeah. Both of them have been trying to get him and Fury had a contract signed. Mm. him and Fury had a contract signed to fight mm. but Wilder he was in Manny like a year ago a year and a half ago who Wilder Wilder yeah he was there when me and you were eating in oh, Asia yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't see him though did we no um, he went to another restaurant I remember okay so um, yeah Wilder had a rematch clause with Fury so Fury wasn't allowed to fight AJ mm. that's why they're having this they have this fight one. so who won because obviously this is their third one so I'm assuming one won the other one it was a draw and the first one was a draw. First one was a draw. Oh. Tyson Fury smoked him in the second oh, one. I swear. Smoked him in the second one. <laughs> I love how enthusiastic you get. <laughs> this is how it was when I talk about football. So I, I'm, mm. love, I'm loving being on the other side of the table. So this is the thing with Wilder, right? Mm. Terrible boxer. I've seen his form. Like he's, he's yeah. like more like Terrible this. Terrible yeah, yeah. boxer. But he's got power. He's got more power than anyone understands. <laughs> yeah. He's the most powerful guy ever. <laughs> no one understands why he's so strong, mm. but he has ridiculous knockout power. Mm. So he just catches you and that's your soul mm. is done. <laughs> mm. But he cannot box for shit. Mm. So the first one, Fury was just so scared about getting knocked out that he wasn't fighting that game. Okay. But Fury still technically, in my opinion, on points, Fury beat him in the first one. Okay. He still tumped him up in the first one, but he got knocked down twice, maybe three times. Mm. In the first uh, fight. fight. So points wise, that balanced out yeah, the, yeah, the score. Yeah, yeah, For the yeah. judges, it balanced out. So they, they locked it up as and, a draw. And Wilder didn't get knocked down once at all. Now did, well. Wilder didn't get knocked okay. down at all. Tyson stayed getting knocked down. Okay. That right, it doesn't make sense. When he hits you with the right, yeah. you're out. It doesn't matter who you are. Watch it. I need to watch the two again before I watch yeah. it. Yeah, second I'm, I'm fight. The third, yeah. Fury realized, oh, this guy can't actually do shit. Mm. He especially can't fight off his back foot. If you put him on the back foot, mm. he can't do anything. Mm. So mm. all the second mm. fight, Tyson uh, Fury was just moving forward, forward, yeah. forward, forward, tumping him up, tumping him up. Smacked him in that second fight. Okay. So in my opinion, you smacked him in the first fight, Antibiotic. but he kept knocking you down. Mm. Then you tumped him up again, didn't mm. get knocked down at all in the second fight. And now he should have wrapped it up from there. Mm. Should have been like, you got tumped up the first one, but you got lucky. Second one, I've definitely tumped you up. Let's just leave it there. Yeah. But now he said, nah, third one. Let's run it back a third time. So who agreed for this? So both. This was already in their contract. From, from the first jump? From either the first or the second, I don't okay. know. But um, I think it might have been from the first. I think mm. it was a two rematch clause in the first one. Jesus. Um, because for these men it makes sense because for these men these are their career high fights it's the most money they're ever going to make on a fight and they don't know what their career is going to look like afterwards yeah Yeah. I've not thought about it that way before but if you think about it since Tyson Fury beat Wilder who's given a fuck about Wilder Mm. no one Mm. no one knows what Wilder's been doing with his career since Mm. he got tumped up Mm. by Fury last time so this is why they have all these rematch clauses okay all these rematch clauses because it's like you work all your whole career and then you have these Guys, these top three, four guys, and you once you've made your way through those, your career's done. Mm. If you're not the guy who won all of them, your career's done. Mm. Tyson Fury's going to beat both of them. Uh, he's going to beat Wada and he's going to beat AJ. AJ is loved so much in this country that he might be fine afterwards. Mm-hmm. Wilder probably not, but he's, he'll have more money than he ever needs yeah. anyway. But Tyson Fury's also old. Mm-hmm. Actually, how old is Tyson Fury? I don't know. He Probably, looks fucking old. He looks like 36. But, yeah, but the thing is, the only thing with Tyson um, Fury is that... Uh, let's have a look. See, Tyson Fury age. Oh, he's 33. Uh, he's kind of old. Age is 31. Deontay Wilder is 35. Wow. They're, they're old. old. They're all old. Deontay Wilder didn't start boxing until he was like 20. And he got a silver medal in the Olympics, gold medal in the Olympics. Oh, wow. Deontay Wilder's crazy. So it's, it's not, for Deontay, it's not more about the skill. It's just more of the power because he all can't. Power. He has I've, no skill. I've all seen power. him box like a few times. Yeah, yeah. Well, not like a whole match, but like different rounds or like different like snippets on like socials and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way he swings doesn't make sense sometimes. And obviously he's, he's like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six, yeah. So his arm, his reach he's, is disgraceful. He's all power. Guys, uh, 
Just real quick, just want to take a quick second to shed some love on the boys over at Manscapade. You know the vibes. <clears throat> so over at Manscapade, they're doing real interesting shit, man. And this time of year, with all the 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 spooky scares that are going around, mm. bro, don't let your lady get a scare at home in our own bed. <laughs> Don't let her get a scare. Don't at let home. her go under the covers and be frightened. Fam, you know you don't want her. You don't want her to see Jack the Ripper like that. Fam, no, bro. we don't need all that. No, bro, cousin, it <laughs> just chilling. Oh, just nah. chilling, just follicles well, just pouring to bust out. Nah, no, she don't need that. We need smooth sailing around here. Smooth sailing. So, uh, gents, jump in. <clears throat> what you need to do is you want to scurry over to your laptop in the middle of the night, in the dead of night. <laughs> Sneak on over to that laptop. You go over to manscaped.com. You pick up the fucking performance package 4.0. It's the fourth bro. generation performance package, bro. You get yourself some of those sleeky, smooth boxes. Best boxes ever. Best boxes ever. To Best date. Best boxes. To date. Am I wearing them now? I am. Gang. I'm wearing them now. Gang. Best boxes Gang. ever. Gang. There you go. Smooth ass boxes with that disgracefully accurate skin smooth um what anti chafing trimmer oh the anti- trimmer i thought you can talk trimmer. about the anti chafing no, no, boxes no 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 the no, actual no. trimmer itself the is trimmer A1. itself yeah and some of you might be thinking but james i don't like my shit skin fresh i like a little bit of gristle <laughs> That's fine. That's fine because they got the adapters it on It comes bro. with the heads, bro. Like Just like when you go to the barbers and you get like a 1.5 or a 2 and a fade. Fam, they you got can that pattern for yourself you. a fade. <laughs> you can do your own fade for yourself. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's about. So it's there, um, jump in. The code is SNG, Sierra November Golf. That's 20% off. You get free shipping. Gang. Manscaped.com. Let's not even talk about it anymore. Just do it. We're not all about talk. We're about actions. <laughs> the SNG crew are about actions, not talk. So head on over. Let us know what you think. Yeah, and uh, before further ado, yes, get back in the episode, man. Let's go. Gang, gang. Hmm. All power. But I think he's going to... Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. He, they, uh, so that's what it is. They've got all these rematch clauses because once you make your way through the top guys, if you come up at the bottom, your career's pretty much done. Really? Kind of. Because especially at that age, he's 35 yeah, years old. Yeah, of that... Obviously, at that age, he can only fight people lower than him now. Mm. He can't carry enough. He's not the champion, mm. so he's not going to get another championship. If you fought, so let's say you're Deontay Wilder. Let's say you fought. Um, this is awkward because the fight actually hasn't happened yet. But when this airs, the fight will have happened. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if he's lost or won. Okay, but I know what you mean. Yeah. But let's say in retrospect, let's say you are Deontay Wilder and you've lost to Tyson Fury um, for the second time now at the third fight. So you're not going to get another shot at him. Mm-hmm. He's the champion now and you're not. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get another chance. Um, well, he's already the champion and mm-hmm. you're not. You take your last chance. You lose again. He's never, ever going to give you another chance. Mm. Why would he? Why would he? Yeah. So now you can only fight people below you. Mm-hmm. And you're only getting older mm-hmm. and they're getting better. Mm-hmm. So every fight that you have below you, people pay less and less to see because they don't actually care. Mm. And you, the only way you can make it big money is if you fight the hardest up and comer coming up. Mm. And he may not even want to fight you yet. Mm. And if he does want to fight you, he might tump you up. Mm. So it's a risk every single time. And you're already 35. Damn. Yeah, the life of a fighter is not nice, bro. Damn. And then you've got the AJ side, same again. AJ, AJ has to avoid those men as long as he can. Mm. <clears throat> and the best thing you want to do is avoid them so long that when you finally do fight them, like let's say he finally fights Tyson Fury, he wants to fight Tyson Fury when Tyson Fury is like out of his prime. Mm. He wants to fight Tyson Fury when Tyson Fury is in terrible shape. He's just had his third mental breakdown this year. (laughs) He's had another six kids. (laughs) Fight him then. Yeah, That's when you want to fight him. Mm. If you're AJ. Mm. Uh, And that's kind of what Mayweather did a lot for his career as well. Oh, really? He fought... So, um, you know, uh, hang on. Bless. Thank you. <clears throat> Canelo Alvarez. Canelo, yes, 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 yes. Along with Mayweather, debatably, pound for pound, 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 the yeah, best boxer I've seen, going, fam. Fam, he, he's got speed. Speed and fucking power. <laughs> I've seen him on the bags. Speed I've and seen fun. him on he's the bags. He's a talented youth, fam. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him on the bags. He got tumped up by Mayweather 
when he was a kid. Okay. When he was up and coming, mm-hmm. Mayweather knew he was going to be the shit. Mm. So Mayweather would never fight him once he was good. Yeah. He also, Mayweather also fought Oscar De La Hoya. Okay. When Oscar De La Hoya was past his prime. Mm. Would never fight Oscar De, Oscar De La Hoya in, in his prime. prime. Yeah. He probably still would have beat him. Mm. In my opinion, I've seen a lot of Oscar De La Hoya fights. I've seen a lot of Mayweather fights. I still think Mayweather would have beat Oscar De La Hoya, mm. but it's just not worth it. Mm. It's not worth the risk. Mm. Mayweather's never taken a risk in his entire career. He doesn't take risks like that. They're mm. all, all they're always calculated risks. Okay. And that's why he's rich as fuck. Yeah. He makes sure bets. He makes sure yeah, he makes sure bets. Why wouldn't you? Because mm. he's in it for the P. Mm. Even though he's talented, he's got this talent and he's like, I'm gonna make so much money out of this, it doesn't make sense. Mm. And at the same time, I'm also not gonna get my head caved in. Mm. Um so yeah, he made himself like easily the best defensive boxer who ever lived. Even if he's not the best boxer overall, he's the best defensive boxer who ever lived. He always makes calculated risks and fights the best fighters at their worst time. If he That's fought, skillful. bro, if he fought Al- uh, Canelo in his prime, Canelo would wipe the fucking floor with him. When would you say Canelo's prime was or is? I don't know. Now, really, for the last three years, mm. if he would have fought him three years ago when Mayweather was still kind of active. Mm. Uh, same another one, Manny Pacquiao. He fought mm. Manny Pacquiao when he had like a broken arm. Mm. Manny Pacquiao was fucked when he fought him. And that was such a sought after fight because Manny Pacquiao was a killer. Yeah. A fucking killer. <laughs> a Filipino fucking killer. <laughs> ah, that's Mayweather hilarious. didn't want any part yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Waited until he fucked his arm up yeah. and then was like, let's, let's scrap. Come, come, let's go. Let's go. Oh, handicap. Fam, it oh. was a boring fight as well. Mm. Boring fight. Pacquiao couldn't do shit. Mayweather was just playing it safe. Boring fight. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mayweather does. He's not stupid. Fair. And he's talented enough that no one can say with chest. So even though he's cherry picking all his fights, yeah. no one can say that even if he wasn't, anyone could do him something anyway. Yeah. Because he's so good. Mm. Um, But yeah, Canelo Alvarez, in his prime, mm. he'd swallow Mayweather. <laughs> he'd swallow him, fam. Canelo's a fucking animal. <laughs> he's 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 fighting people like three weight classes above him. Really? Obviously, he has to meet weight. Yeah, of but course. Bro, of course, of course. he's fucking up like light heavyweights. What's his regular thingy? Regular weight class? Like, like welterweight? Oh, really? Something ridiculous like that? Something ridiculous like that? Oh wow. He's he's mopping people up. Oh wow. Did you see his press conference the other week? No, I don't follow him like that. Well, I don't follow Bart. I just saw a TikTok. I, I didn't even follow it. Much I just like saw that. a TikTok. Okay. Fam? Um, he smacked one guy in a, in a press conference. Mm. But it was like, ooh. Mm. It split his eye open. So he's fighting a guy. They were having a, a face-off. Mm. And the guy said something. And um, Canelo Alvarez doesn't speak any English. Okay. He's Mexican. Okay. Doesn't speak any fucking English which is ridiculous Mm. at this level is ridiculous, but whatever. Yeah. Um, And the guy said something to him and he thought he was saying something about his Mm mum. So the guy said something, he thought he was saying something about his mum. Canelo Alvarez pushed him. Mm. The guy said, yeah, swung for him. Canelo Alvarez gave him a quick slip as he slipped, smacked. No, he actually punched him, gave him a quick slip, bang, lightning fast, lightning fast. But what that? Guy came up, I bleeding. Fuck. Canelo was ready <laughs> in a press conference, suit and tie. Fuck. Gave him a slip and a bang. I was like, oh my God. He stays ready. Oh my God. Fam, he's a fucking animal. He would destroy Mayweather. <laughs> destroy him. If it was prime and prime, yeah. I actually don't know. Yeah. It would be the fight of a century. Oh, where? Canelo in his prime versus Mayweather in his prime. The fight of a fucking lifetime that no one knows who will win. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm, bro. Dude. I love oh it. I'm here for it. My so I'm, God, I'm, env- I'm envisioning it all, and my only actual because um, I don't follow boxing that much. I just know a few names here and there, and I see a couple fights or a couple um, highlights and replays. My only true, not just necessarily, I wouldn't say true reference, but my only um, other reference point is anime. Hajime no Ippo. So um, <laughs> oh yeah. So when you're talking about like slips and yeah, I can yeah, even, I'm yeah, watching. Yeah, I'm imagining yeah, my yeah, man. Yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Oh yeah, yeah damage. Bro. Damage. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It, it, that would be the fight of a century. Um, speaking of fighting, there was a fight a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Uh, Brian Ortega versus 
Alex uh, Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky. Polish? I something like that, bro. Mm. <sighs> Probably the best fight of MMA I've ever seen. <laughs> Probably the best fight of MMA I've ever fucking seen, bro. Talk to me. Oh! <laughs> so, these men must be so bored if they don't like fighting. <laughs> They'll get used to it. So, check this out. Uh. <clears throat> so, it's hard if you don't understand jiu-jitsu. Mm. It's hard. Mm. But basically, if you take Brian Ortega, who's a great fighter, mm-hmm. really, really, really good at jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. Really good at jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. So in what terms belt of, is he? Oh, he's black belt. Black belt, yeah. Oh, 100% he's black belt. Mm. I actually don't know, but he's mm. definitely black belt. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in terms of submissions, yeah. catching you and yeah. stuff like that, he's king. Yeah. given the opportunity, he's going to snap you up. Yeah. Volkanovski is just an overall, he's a champion, overall beast. Mm. Overall beast, mm. bro. So you're in there. Is this heavyweights, <clears throat> by the way? No, 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 no. Okay. This is 100 and, oh, they're quite light. I want to say either 155, maybe 170. Mm-hmm. Um, and <clears throat> they're in there. They're going. Volkanovski's thumping his head in so accurately that it's concerning. Mm. It doesn't matter where T- Ortega goes, mm. he's teeing off on his head. <laughs> Ortega's yeah. face is disheveled, crowd. <laughs> yeah. It's swollen in places that don't make sense. Yeah. It's lost shape. <laughs> yeah. And he's teeing off on his head yeah. like it's a, a speed bag. Yeah. And he's <laughs> clocking him, fam. Yeah. And then, just as you're watching it, in the third round, you're like, oh, Tager's done. Yeah. But he's fighting for his life. <laughs> he's standing and he's swinging. And you're thinking, I give ratings to Ortega, <laughs> yeah. but it's a wrap. Yeah. You're a few seconds from getting dropped. Mm. Fam, out of nowhere, he throws his right hand. Who, Ortega? Ortega throws his right hand, puts Volkanovski on his ass, mm. and then goes in for a mounted guillotine from standing. So basically, <laughs> what that means is, if I'm sat down here, yeah. half lying down, you say, you just put me on my ass. Yeah. I'm sat down, kind of half lying, half yeah. um, trying, trying to, to get, get up. up. Yeah. So my head's here, yeah. my hands are here. Yeah, yeah, I can envision it. You leap on top of me. Yeah. So you're face to face, you leap on top of me, mounted, so he's sitting on top of him. Mm-hmm. He grapevined him, which means he wrapped his legs under here. So okay. you're on top of me and yeah, you've yeah. wrapped your legs yeah, under yeah, my legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can't get up now. So he can't get up. Yeah. And you've got me in a headlock. So forward. Forward. <gasps> mounted guillotine. Forward headlock. And chokes the living shit out of him. Out of It was like in a split second, had A split second. Dropped him. And he leapt on him like a tiger. <laughs> it's such a complex move to do that you would never do it from a standing position. Yeah. You don't leap on someone like that. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. You'd have to show me a clip. I'll show you tonight. Yeah, you you well. don't leap on someone like that. <laughs> Stop it. Stop I couldn't believe my eyes, fam. <laughs> I physically couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah. And he ch- he locked it in, bro. Yeah. You, Volkanovski was gargling. He said after the fight, he said he was gargling. <laughs> he locked it the fuck in. But it takes so much arm strength yeah. to try and choke the life out of someone like that. Yeah. That if you can hold out long enough, you can survive it. Okay. Bro, somehow Volkanovski didn't tap out. Oh, really? Even though he was choking so much that spit was th- coming out of his mouth. Eventually, he loosened the grip a little bit. Because he couldn't Because he hold couldn't it. keep yeah. it. His bicep was probably cramping. Yeah. I couldn't bet. keep it. Volkanovski got out. Got out. We returned to our feet. And we go again. Damn. Teeing off on his head again. Damn. Now Volkanovski's vexed. Yeah, of course. Starts teeing off on his head again. I think either the third round or the fourth round drops Ortega. Revenge time, fam. Mm. And you're like, it's a wrap. Mm. Someone throwing the towel because Ortega's face is fucked. Yeah. He's just been getting ruined this whole fight. Mm. He had that one chance yeah. with the with the mountain guillotine. It's it's done now. Yeah. It's done. Volkanovski gets him down. Ortega's here on the floor with his legs up, trying to like defend himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Volkanovski on top and just go whack. Whack. And not even fast, fam. He's yeah. generating power. Power, yeah. Whack. That's the Whack, worst. Fam? Oh, scare me. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, fam? Fuck. <laughs> the ground and pound? Whack. Whack. And you're just like, ref, stop, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Please. <laughs> it's a general Please safety. Please stop it's it. It's a general health and safety now. Fam, as he, as he goes into land the finishing blow, mm. Ortega grabs his arm, gets him in a triangle. So a triangle... <laughs> 
So a triangle <laughs> is where, say, okay, it's really hard mm. to, to demonstrate, but mm. basically you, you've you captured one arm. Yeah, so I'm laying down, yeah. So you're so laying he's, down. He's trying to punch me. He's trying to punch yeah. you. Yeah. You've, you've captured one of his arms, right? Yeah. You're holding on to that. Yeah. So you get one leg on the trap of the arm that he got? No. Of the other arm? Of the other arm that you don't have. So um, so with the left, for so, example. So yeah, if you've got if his I've got his left, right arm. Yeah, you've got this arm on this side. It'll be the left. You've it in. Yeah. You've taken your left, left leg, leg and you've got it on his trap. Yeah. And that's wrapped around that now. So he's got this arm free this side. Yes. You're yes, not touching yes. it. Yes. On his left trap. Yes. And you bent your knee. So your leg's in a right angle. Like this. Your, your hamstring's on his trap and your lower leg's wrapped around like the this. back of his yeah. leg. Back of his legs. Back of his neck. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sam? Yeah. Your hamstring's on his yeah, trap. Yeah. Yeah. You've I can angled see it. your leg this way. I can see it. And your calf is on the back of his neck. I can see it. And your heel is on, on the other side of his shoulder. Yes, I can see it. I can see it. You've now locked this arm. Yeah. And you've locked his head yeah. down. Are you pulling him? You're pulling him towards yeah. you. And then you get your other leg and you cross your legs over like this. Like this? Yeah. Yeah? In I a triangle it. position. Okay. You clamp down yeah. and you choke the fuck out of him with your legs. Mm. You've got one arm here to stop him getting away. Mm. And you've got your, his head in between your legs, mm. and you're squeezing your legs together for dear mm. life to choke him to death. Mm. He caught him in it, caught him in it, just as he was about to get knocked the fuck out. Caught him in there again, gargling for life. <laughs> Volkanovski gargling for life again, again. After he's been winning this whole fight, two separate occasions, he's nearly done. Somehow gets out of it again. No way. And Bruno, Bruno Taker's jiu-jitsu is fantastic. You don't get out of these yeah. things. Once he's got it locked in, you don't get out. Yeah. He survived it again, bro. Again. And then for the rest of that round, teed the fuck off on his head again, again. revenge style. Started tumping the fuck out of Ortega again. Jesus. The fifth round, everyone was like, enough is enough. Mm. You look at Ortega's head, he looks like he's got elephant titus. Jesus. His face is fucked. The ref is, the doctor's talking to him. He can't answer questions correctly. He don't know where he is. He gets up in the fifth round and everyone's like, nah, stop the fight, fam. Stop the fight. It's done. You had your two chances to submit him. Mm. Valiant effort, but you didn't get it. And we're sorry for you. Mm. But you didn't get it. Mm. Bro, Ortega comes out dizzy in that round. Mm. Volkanovski's tired, but he knows he's won this. Mm. Fam goes for a swing, swing. Ortega, slip, slip. Whack, whack. Whack, Ortega is coming out, guns blazing, Fuhad. Whack, 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 whack. Volkanovski knows it's the last round, so he's yeah. like, yeah, 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 doing the little, yeah, yeah? whack, <laughs> whack. <laughs> Fam, he shudders back. He shudders back, tries to get his arms up. Whack, whack. <laughs> Starts <laughs> tomping the fuck out of him. Ortega's going nuts. Yeah. Fam, where he got this energy, I don't know. Yeah. Whack, whack, whack. The whole time, fam, bell rings. Everyone's everyone's in their a corner, gasp, yeah, 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 yeah. Blood everywhere. Fam, the dogs are good as fuck. They brew it up. Luckily, Volkanovski, because Volkanovski, Volk, because Volkanovski tumped him up for the entire fight, mm. he wins the fight. Mm. But Ortega goes out on his shield, fam. Mm. He goes out on his shield, just collapses, just gets dragged out the thing. <laughs> Best MMA fight I've ever seen in my life. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. Every time he was about to go, snapped him in some elite jujitsu, elite. Jiu Jitsu. Dang. Couldn't believe it. You just describing it all. I was there. I felt like I was ringside. Oh, I felt like I was ringside. It was phenomenal. It sounded it. It was phenomenal. It sounded it. Oh. Mm. Creme de la creme of fighting. Gang. Creme de la creme. Just to be able to watch that fight and appreciate that fight made it worth the fucking two years of Jiu Jitsu I've done. That you've done. Yeah, yeah. Just to understand how difficult that is to do. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. That's gang. That guillotine... I gasped when I saw it. It just mounted. He on. leapt on him. I'll show you later. He leapt on him. I couldn't, oh, I need to see the I physically fight. physically couldn't believe it. I need to see the highlights of that fight. Oh, 100%. When we get in, it's when we get to the yard, I need to see the highlights of that fight. fight. Fantastic fight. Gang. Fantastic fight. Gang. Um, fucking hell, we've been talking. <laughs> You've been talking. I've been listening. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sorry. engulfed in that. Don't so, be sorry. sorry. If you're still here, <laughs> we're going to get into the juice. Um, because, so, if you guys have been sticking with us for the last few weeks... You'll know that we'd be going back and forth with who gives what the ick. Oh, yeah, Guys yeah, yeah. Guys give this yeah, the yeah, ick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls give us the ick here. Yeah. And uh, Fu had did a little post on Instagram a couple of weeks ago yeah. of what gives girls the ick, what gives guys the ick. And we're going to reel off some of the highlights 
Um, and we're just going to put this bitch to bed. Yeah. So which one do you want to go for first? Girls well, or guys? Let's do guys first. And then we'll roll on to the... We'll end off with the ladies. All right, cool. <laughs> so the things that give guys the ick. Um, one, when she plays the game better than you. <laughs> That's sticky. Wow, the, the, okay. A lot of these ones are the ones I never reply to on on Instagram. Okay. There were, there were quite a few that I didn't see until later on. Some guy said when she doesn't watch anime, which is jokes. Um, definitely when the little kids are running around me and they're trying to touch my shit. What? Why are you even in that situation? Little kid? What? So he's saying what gives him the ick about girls. He said when her little kids are around me trying to touch my shit. <laughs> I mean, that's just your problem. Oh, wow. That's not even a nick. Wow. I feel like that's just your personal problem yeah, with yeah, that yeah, personal yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, for me, is key. Girls with no rhythm. For me... It's the worst. It's... You know who it's, I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. You know who about. I'm talking about. I know. <laughs> She's... <laughs> like, you can't be peng with no rhythm. It just, 10 out of 10 banging. It just doesn't add up to me. I haven't seen this, obviously, no rhythm thing that you're talking about. But from the pictures you showed me, 10 out of 10 banging. It just doesn't add up to me, broski. It's not fair. It's not. She's oh, got no rhythm. Girls with no rhythm are the worst. <sighs> are the worst. Yeah, that gives me superior ick. Oh, man. You might not have it. I saw one of them on there mm. that said, when she looks like she smells, smells of the- ham. <laughs> <laughs> Fam? I don't know if this is related to what he was talking about. <laughs> yeah. But there are some like obese chicks I've seen in my day. Mm-hmm. And I've got nothing wrong with overweight females. Mm. But there's some obese chicks that I've seen in the day. Mm. And just like, I know she stinks. <laughs> just from looking at her, I know she stinks. And then she might come and try chat to me or something. Mm. And ham is a very particular way to describe it. Ham is a very particular way to describe it, but I know exactly what he's talking about. She stinks just like that. Just like what I feared she would. <coughs> Ham, you know, oh, yeah. that is, that's not on. That's not on. Um, some people, when she has hygiene, that makes no sense. Having to use a condom is one. Oh, that's a controversial ick. But it's a controversial ick. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, someone else put false advertising in leggings. I've been there back in the day. Been there. What are you saying? I've got a legging ick. Okay. Baggy leggings, big man, are the biggest ick I've ever experienced. <laughs> Baggy leggings? Yeah, this, it's not cute. Do you remember jeggings? Jeggings were the worst thing that were ever created. <laughs> yeah. Worst thing ever created. I remember. Jeggings. <laughs> oh, they used to run a muck in my school back in the day. Bro, bro, <laughs> bro. Speaking of legging stroke jegging icks, do you remember? <laughs> ah, do you remember, yeah? The, the girl, this was an ick for me. You mm. know, like the female school trousers? Yeah, yeah, The yeah. tight ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were stretch out mm. and the glue used to separate out of the seam in the body. Yeah, yeah. That gave me massive ick. <laughs> the glue strands used to be, st- it just looked like fibres yeah. just spraying out yeah, the back. I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 ick. yeah, yeah. I don't know what ick. It used to give me mad ick. Ah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, those Mercury in retrograde girls blaming crystals on their bad vibes. <laughs> Mercury and retrograde. Yeah. Oh, that's jokes. That made my eye hurt. Oh. Oh, blaming crystals so- on their bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That is hilarious. Them, you can't handle me, girls. Oh, yeah. Non toxic girls. Man likes a toxic bitch. Mm. Fair play. <laughs> Once someone put, when they catch me cheating. <laughs> Ah, oh, nah, that's sour. Uh, fam, when girls get makeup on your hoodie or top, or that for me, <sighs> yeah, it's an issue. It's an issue, it's an issue, it's an issue. 
That for me is an it's issue. It is an issue. Like when you're hugging a chick and you just get the makeup here on your breast or your shoulder. Pisses me off. Pisses me off. I don't know if I call it an ick, but it pisses me it the fuck off. Pisses me off. <laughs> it pisses me. I the just want to fuck off. Grab her. I want to touch her forehead like this and dash it. <laughs> I just want to fucking dash it. Don't fucking hug me again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, girls with shit tan on their hands. Oh, their hands my and days, their hands are like the ankle area here. Oh, the hands, the ankle area <sighs> under the nails. Oh. Yeah, icky now. That is an ick. Icky now. That is a fucking ick, bro. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, girls with nasty feet. He said he doesn't like feet, but girls with nasty feet in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, when it goes. When girls just use man for their car as if the sun shines at their ass. Ooh. A lot of girls bitter. do that. Mm, bitter as well. But girls do do that. Uh, <laughs> when she's Thai and has a bigger dick than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jesus. <laughs> that little moustache, I pretend not to notice. <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs> Dread. Man sent for it. Dread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually dread. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, when she wants to finger me. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, the one that you said, girls that look like they smell like ham, that's it. <laughs> oh, God. Someone put girls farting in general. Oh, yeah. That would make me ick. Um, and I oop like man you're trying to catch this hook <laughs> Some, I hate when people say and I oop um, when they expect you to pay for everything I want to be living top tier hairy females where are they getting this shit from where are you meeting know. these women I don't know where are you meeting this women um, screeching when they see their friends they haven't seen in a long time yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> girls whose breath stink no aspirations or ambitions Shoreditch bitch. Yep. <laughs> Ick. Fuck. Sainsbury's, you know. <laughs> wow. Oh, when a girl asks or says if she's prettier than her than your ex or than my ex, for example. Who says that? Oh, that's a, that's a teenage thing. It is a teenage thing, for sure. That's a teenage for sure, thing. For sure, for sure, for sure. Ugh. Um, who would ask that? Am I prettier than your ex? Who knows? Shut up, fam. You are my ex. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> you are my ex. <laughs> it's the dash for me. Makes me want to be celibate. <laughs> it's the whatever for me. <laughs> Big man. Did we not say that last time? Have we said that before or no? I can't. I don't or know did I just before, read that on there? It's, it's, it's what it was on the, the thing that I put on. Yeah, it's the da, 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 da for me. I fucking hate yeah, that, bro. Top three. I fucking hate that, bro. Top three, top three, top three, top three, top three. Top three. Oh, uh, yeah. Top three. Oh, my days. Um, this is one I put up as well on the day when her titties don't bounce when she's on top that that sweeted me that's harsh that's harsh but it sweeted me yeah 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 <laughs> harsh but sweeted me alright cool let me do the women alright women they're gonna <clears throat> send for us I know they are they always do they they, they always women do women hit mad specific yeah they they cut it's cutthroat when yeah, it comes yeah, to the yeah, women yeah, yeah, yeah. it's um yeah it's no, it's no game um when they come and don't bother making us come, then cuddles like nothing happened. Poo attached in the man's bum here, and they wipe the ass properly, and they don't wipe the ass properly. Saw that, <laughs> saw that, saw that, and creased. <laughs> Poo in their bum hair. Yeah, that's fam. Manscape.com SNG twenty percent off you free go, shipping bro. worldwide. There you go, bro. Snip, snip that. <laughs> there you go. Bro. No, yeah, can tell me I've got shit in my ass. No, yeah, can tell me I've got shit in my ass. I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself who had. Uh, you got snap. I hate. That's what a girl's one. You got snap. I fucking hate Snapchat. Mm. And. Oh Sorry, just to bring it back. I've just had, I've just had one that is an ick for me. Yeah. I think we spoke about it on here before. When they stop contributing to the 69. <laughs> Don't know if you've had that on here. When they but, stop contributing to the 69 because they want a nut. Yeah. Nah. Suck me off in it. 
It's a 69 for a reason. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of these Bear ones for moaning. a reason. Bear moaning. Suck me off, oh. innit? Ah, <laughs> uh, that is oh. jokes. That yeah. is jokes. Uh, children with their mouth open. One in one. Mm, that's kind of yucky. That is yucky. This is a bigger for me. I think I put top three on this. When girls walk around um, barefoot at the end of the night. That is, yeah, yeah, that yeah, for yeah. me. She, yeah. uh, Wait, yeah. I thought we were doing the girls ones. Fucking hell, yeah, we are. But this this is what annoyed me on the day. Okay. When I put um, girls they were just only, contributing whoever. anyone was contributing. Yeah, and yeah, I wasn't yeah, replying yeah. to the man there. Yeah, they got carried well, away. Obviously, because I've, I've saved all of them. Yeah, I just yeah, completely yeah, yeah, forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got carried away. Oh, that drives me insane. Yeah. I'm specifically said... Girls Understand the assignment, isn't it? Exactly. No, you're assignment, man. Um, when he takes pictures using famous tourist attractions as his dick, that's very specific. Uh huh. So I'm assuming, for example, um, when he takes famous when he takes pictures using famous tourist attractions as his dick. I'm assuming, for example, like the Eiffel Tower, and he will say, "Oh, this is the size of his dick." I don't know. I don't know. Because that's right. very specific. So she's obviously talking that's about some crazy specific. That's crazy yeah, specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, when he says, I thought you were younger, you look 16. Why are you asking for a man's snap? What? Motorbike thieves? Oh, no, that's a guy. A guy wrote that. Fucking hell. You guys don't understand the assignment. Ooh, double texting if you're not my man. Oh! That's um, that's a good one. I like that one. I like that one. Double texting if you're not my man. Gives oh, her the ick. I like that bro. one. I like In that one. In my younger years, I found myself double texting. <laughs> and as soon as you see it, mm. that blue, blue, mm. you're like, what we'll have I done, <laughs> done fam? You can't take it back. What have I done? <laughs> it looks hideous. Yeah. <laughs> it literally looks hideous. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Um... When his moans sound like a 12-year-old girl getting punched on the upper arm. Instant dessert. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Oh, that's funny. When he immediately likes everything I say, like he has no personality or opinion. That's a very good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's That's valid. That's a very good one. That's fucking valid. That's a very, very good one. Um... Full mirror selfie nudes or nudes with his face in it. Understandable. Nudes with his face in it. That's <laughs> such a preach, you know. <laughs> I hear you. Nudes with his <laughs> face in it. Uh, desperately begging me to tell him he's good during it. Even that made me say, uh, like, nah, you need, your ego is off, my dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ego is off. Um, this is one for me, male or female. Being rude to servers says a lot about someone if they're not polite to everyone. I hate that for me is Spoke a about huge this. ick. Disgraceful. Oh, ick. that drives me insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Disgraceful. drives me Disgraceful. insane. Disgraceful. <sighs> that drives me insane. Um, I can find and try and find a good one. <laughs> when he's trying to pick something up, but it blows slash rolls away. <laughs> oh, this is what I mean, bro. When girls. Go for the throat. Yeah, they, they slice that's it open. That's not fair. That's, that's not fair. It's not our fault. Fam, I can see it. Look at a piece of paper and you go to get it and it blows away. And just, <laughs> nah. And she looks at it and says, yuck. 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 I remember reading one. This is a while back where it says, um, you know when you go on trains and the train stops and you jolt. They said, if, you, if you're jolting, you're not my man. <laughs> you're not my man. <laughs> You're not my man. That's not fair. It's not fair, brother. That's not fair. That's how uh. I used to feel when I was younger. <coughs> I would get on the bus. Mm. And you know when the bus starts moving? Mm. And it kind of peels back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll walk, say if you're walking to the upstairs mm. and you see the man and the gal are sitting there and the bus takes off and you have to reach <laughs> to grab something. I used to think as soon as I had to reach out, in my head I was like, it's over. It's over. I'm going back downstairs. <laughs> I have to go back downstairs. It's they're... over. <laughs> You're not getting lips tonight. Nowhere near you're getting oh. lips tonight. Uh, when they say you remind them of their mum, specific boy. Have you ever said that to a girl? You remind me of, your, of my mum. Nah, I don't think so. I, I know I haven't said that. That is, I would, I've said to women, 
like you're such a mum in yeah. terms of the what they yeah, act yeah, and how yeah, they yeah, behave yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, say yeah. remind me of my mum. That's that's um yeah, that's a lot. Um guys just staring at me makes me angry. I mean it depends okay. on how they're staring at you. It does. When he seemingly skips his hands and ankles when applying body lotion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I saw that one. I think I saw that one. Imagine just walking around with ashy hand. And you're cream to the gills. Hands and feet and ankles are ash. ash. Oh, it's embarrassing. Have you seen that? Speaking of, there's this interviewer, right? Mm. He interviews NBA players. Okay. Some Mexican guy. Oh, definitely not. And he that. always asks, and LeBron James was ducking him mm. for years. Okay. And he always asks, do you wash your legs in the shower? That's what we ask everyone. Okay. Do you wash your legs in the shower? Okay. Because I'm going to come out and say it. I barely wash my legs in the shower. I wash my legs. What do you mean? Like actual like soap and water? Like, like getting the, like, okay. So when I'm in the shower, yeah. I do face. Mm. I've got a specific face cleanser. Yeah, same. Face. Yeah. Rinse it out. Yeah. Then I get my body wash. Yeah. I do arm, arm, pits. Yeah. Pit, body, torso, yeah, batty, yeah. and like quads. Yeah, I don't lift up my leg to do this. <laughs> I just don't. Okay, I just don't. Okay. So when, when, <laughs> when he asked LeBron James, yeah, do oh and balls, okay, cock yeah. and balls, yeah. When he asked LeBron James, oh, do you wash your legs in the shower? It sweeted me, fam. It sweeted me. Why? Because he because to- I don't. And I was like, you want to say yes? Yeah. But you're like, I bet bare, if I don't do it, yeah. and this Donnie's asking if LeBron James does it, yeah. I'm thinking, I bet hardly anyone does it. I do. But use a glove, don't you? Yeah. I've seen in your show, yeah. use a glove, use yeah. exfoliating glove. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I, I don't. Mm. I just do my hands. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm interested in the comments. Mandem, own up. <laughs> own up. <laughs> Send an emoji if you have to. Yeah. <laughs> do you mind wash your lower leg? I'm not bringing up my knee in a shower like a yeah. <laughs> I'm not bringing up my knee in the shower. I'm, I'm not my, bending over to my, my leg on the ting. I put my leg on the ting like this. Nah, fam. Nah, I'm not. I'm not raising my leg and bending my back in the shower. That's jokes. Like a tart. <laughs> Every time you use the word tart, it sweets me, bro. You have no idea. Sweets oh, me. Wow. Like a tart. Oh, this one sweetened me as well. When he's got some orange left in the corner of his mouth after eating bolognese. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen that. Random. That's a white guy thing. In terms of... I've only ever seen it in white guys. Oh, really? (laughs) I don't think I've ever seen that period. Have you not? I don't think so. I've bro. seen it. I don't think so. I've bro. seen it. When they suck the spaghetti. Yeah. Just, yeah, just... I'm bare bolognese sauce in the mic corner. It's butters. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <gasps> oh my days. Um when you're giving him a blowjob and he smells of shit. Fam? Someone's put that before. I've seen that before a while ago. What is that? This correlates to the shit in the bum hair thing yeah. as well. <laughs> when you're giving him a blowjob, he smells like shit. Oh nah, dear. Personal hygiene is a. Uh... Oh dear. Imagine. I, I, she must have wanted to knock no. him out. <laughs> just in his torso. Just. Fam, she must have wanted to knock him out. Dent his fucking chest. Imagine eating a girl out and you can smell physical human shit. I'd be, I would be so angry. <laughs> so would I. I'd be so fucking angry. So would I, so would I, so would I. So would <sighs> I. <laughs> when he moans louder than me. I've seen that, but like, what? What? I don't know. Because how are you moan? I, I don't moan. I don't moan. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some, some guys moan. Mm. Men in flip flops. Jokes. When I see the white crap in the corner of the mouth when they're talking, I'll just like dry mouth. Yeah, dry mouth corner. Is that it? Yeah, there's loads, but that's All right, that's, cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Apparently, there's bad things that give people ick. 
There are. I'm still scrolling. There's loads Fam, I've not said. There's <clears throat> so there's one that no I don't think any girl has ever said, but it has to be an ick. Because I refuse to be seen in this situation. Mm. A man naked with nothing on but a t shirt. Has to be king of the ick. Oh, that's... I don't think that's normal. <laughs> that's not normal. Funny enough, I've seen... I can't remember. It must have been on TikTok. Because for the life of me, I can't remember who it was. But for some reason, someone was asking someone else. It could have been a podcast. Okay. Someone was asking someone else, what's your getting ready routine? A man said he puts his socks on and then he puts his shirt on afterwards. Or like his top on afterwards. No. And I'm no, thinking, that's unacceptable. what? That's unacceptable. What? That's unacceptable. That makes no sense, brother. That doesn't make any sense. What's your getting ready routine? Boxes, then socks. Boxes, boxes then socks. Boxes on first of all. Especially, well, I'm talking about my routine if I'm going to work. Okay. Not in general. Let's just say if I'm going to work. Okay. Boxes, socks, trousers, and then the top. Top is always the last thing I wear. Okay. Fair play. Okay, cool. What's yours? Mine is top is always the last thing I wear as well. Mm. Exact no, okay. Mine on a casual thing, because it's interesting you said about work. Actually, I, sorry to cut you off. Regardless of casual or not, I think it's the same regardless. Okay. Mine's different if I'm wearing a shirt or not. An actual button shirt. An actual button or a shirt. Tea. Uh, a a to, button a, shirt. Like a if I'm wearing like office attire, yeah. like shirt and trousers. Mm. I will go boxers, socks, shirt, shirt and then, then trousers. trousers. Yeah. Because trying to tuck a shirt yeah, yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. is long. Doing trousers and then putting on a shirt and trying to tuck it in yeah. is gay. <laughs> I know what you mean. And then that. trying to get your socks on when your when your shirt is tucked and your belt is done. Yeah. Trying to get socks, socks. on. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. The thing's falling out it's everywhere. It's impossible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, if I'm wearing smart attire, that's how I do it. Mm. If I'm on a casual thing, mm. I go boxers, trousers, mm -hmm. socks, mm. top. If I'm wearing shorts, I think my socks would be last. Uh, no, not last, but I'll be boxers, then shorts. Yeah, then yeah. I'll wear my socks. But regardless of the attire or whatever, my top is always last. Yeah, my, always. I'm pretty sure my top's always last. Always. But boxes first and then socks is either second or third. Most likely second. Calm. But yeah, for my man to wear socks and then the top, so he, his midriff is just hanging, it makes no <laughs> sense. You have no order in your life. <laughs> That's disgusting. You have no order. That's disgusting. <laughs> it just your doesn't. wife can't walk in on you and your dick's <laughs> hanging between the two little flaffles of your shirt. You waste, man. You waste, man. It makes man. no sense. Some flaccid tool it just makes hanging. No, it just makes no you sense. You waste, man. <laughs> oh, nah. Dead all that. Mm. Dead all that. Um, but yeah, uh, let's do my the asshole. Let's. So, man said, okay, boys, huge fan of the pod. Been about since November sort of time. Mm -hmm. And I have a bit of a dilemma stroke. Am I the asshole? Mm -hmm. So I'm 19 years old. And because of that, I missed my whole 18th year to be going clubbing and finding my feet in the streets. Oh, because um, of, corona, of COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Boys, that's changed now, he said. Mm. I don't know how, because I've got big confidence issues, but I'm having things throw themselves at me with barely trying. Mm. My, my boys keep getting vexed. Mm. I'm from James's old ends, so there's only really one spot I can go for a night out. And because of this, the tings... Um, your old ends? What's yeah. your old ends? I'm not really sure, G. Okay. But I've lived in sticks, so it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if there's only one spot I can go out. Uh, there's only one real spot I can go out for a night out. And because of this, the tings I'm banging are all out in the same spot. And while other gal try and move me, old tings have seen me moving reckless. Mm. It's rookie. It's mm. dangerous. Mm. So I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> I've had birds come up to me calling me a dirty, sleazy bastard, <laughs> throwing drinks, etc. Nah, that's long. Yeah. That's so my long. question is, am I the asshole for not explaining to the birds what it really is between us? Or should they understand from the fact they come up to me and basically drag me back to their yard? Also, over the last weekend, I've patterned three best friends from Friday to Sunday. And a four-way ting is in the works. You're a liar. 
You're a liar. The last bit is just for bragging rights. I won't Chuck. lie. L- love the pod. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, to answer the question about what, say the actual, am I the asshole for thing again? Because I had an so answer. So is he head. the asshole for not explaining to the girls when he's banging them, hey, this is just a smash yeah. and next weekend I will be out yeah. pulling next Considering Because he said, considering they're basically he dragging said, him he's back. He's basically saying he's meeting them on the night out and they're just and they're dragging, dragging him back, back to yard. The thing, I've had this to me before, not necessarily with random chicks, but with people I've seen in the past and I have has sex with them later on in life. Mm-hmm. Um, when... Sorry, how so? I'm going to explain. Okay, sorry, go on. Um, when, in my opinion... If a guy has sex with a girl, especially at his age, you said he's what, 18, 19? 19. 19. Yeah. I feel like a sense of entitlement comes with it from a female perspective. I know what you mean. So if they've had, sometimes in a girl's mind, in my opinion, once you've had sex with them, especially at that age, like I said, a sense of entitlement comes into play. So in their heads, once this nut is bust, this is us now. We're going to be fucking now. They own you, yeah. They, exactly. But long story short, they own you. Yeah. So for them to see you next week with a next thing in the disheveled. same in the spot? same gaff yeah. oh their world is rocked yeah yeah their world yeah. is rocked in a bad way yeah, yeah you yeah. know so that's the reason why i won't necessarily say you're the arsehole for not explaining to them but they also it's a double-edged sword because they have to understand the situation which i'm assuming they're they've not been in that position yet mm. to understand like they need to know that shit has consequences you can't just come up to me as a man and be like yo i'm trying to fuck what are you trying to... I'm only human. Fuck. I'm going to say yes. I'm yeah, 19, yeah, yeah. brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially yeah. if you're looking banging. I'm 19. I'm trying to... Yes, come. Let's go. Let's Bro. dip now. So... 100%. Um, within the same breath, sometimes you should... You should ex- not necessarily explain yourself, but if you can see they're trying to make it more than what it is, then you'd be like, oh, by the way, it, like we're just trying to... Yeah. I mean, it's a tough one. <clears throat> I agree. Like, it's one of them ones. And the thing is as well, as you were explaining it, I thought, yeah, that is a female thing. But then yeah. I thought, it's kind of a guy thing I was just well. about to say, it goes both ways. It does go it both goes ways. Both because for ways. a guy, same way, like, if he, if I, not me specifically, mm. but even I can see it, mm. if I was to put a girl on a night out in a specific spot, mm. and then the very next weekend, mm. I saw her move into another guy in mm. the same spot, mm. knowing I'm there, mm. I would be a bit like, rah. rah. This is the game we're in. <laughs> These streets are reckless. But I think the difference is, the difference between men and women, in my opinion, is we would just firm the L. Yeah, I know that's my pride talking and not yeah. her issue. Yeah. And I would just get on my Yeah, we firm the L and yeah. just move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not trying to create scenes like that. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. fun. We both yeah. did the dance and we moved on. Yeah. Well, she clearly moved on, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. here picking up scraps. Yeah. But this <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. game is literally the game. It's yeah. Not, it's unfair. And that's just the way the, the cookie crumbles, my dude. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's a bit... Um, <laughs> It's one of them ones as well that you also have to accept the role that you're in. Yeah. Like, it's one of them ones that if you're not going to tread softly, because clearly you're not treading softly. Mm. And the fact of the matter is, is that especially at that age, having sex is, even if it's a minor, it's also not a minor to Mm. these girls. Yeah. And if you're going to run reckless, like you said yourself, if you're going to move reckless and move to separate things even in the, within the same friendship group, in the same spot, week after week after week, you have to expect some kind of repercussions. Drama. You don't Drama. just get to live rent free. Yeah, you don't. You, you just don't, don't get you to don't. just run amok and get away with it. Repercussions are real. You don't just get do what you want. It makes sense why you got a drink dash in your face. Yeah. It makes sense. You don't get to just do what you want with no repercussions. Like if you want to live lavish mm. and smash all the girls in the world, you have to either relocate or tread softly or yeah. you have to maneuver these things sensitively because if you're just going to move reckless, then shit is going to happen. Yeah, facts. That's just karma. Yeah. Even whether you think of like, oh, they sh- like they should know it's just sex or whatever. Yeah, life, the universe doesn't work like that. Yeah, it doesn't pay. You, you don't like just get to win the lottery every night. Yeah, it just doesn't pay. It just like doesn't that. work it like doesn't, that. It doesn't. There's only so much luck you get <clears throat> and if you're just going to be drawing all the pum, mm. then bro, yeah, you're going to have to deal with the consequences. I dealt with those consequences mm. back in Cov when I was on a hot streak. Mm. Bro, Mm-hmm. If the there's a couple of times the wrong girl saw me moving reckless mm. and it got sour, mm. <laughs> I was it got there. sour fast. I was there. I, you were there. I, I paid for it. Yeah. I fucking paid for I it. I paid for some right, of them you, as well. You paid for some of them as well. Um, <laughs> and rightly so. I deserve to pay for it, man. Mm. You don't just get to do what you want and get away yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Um, so yeah, bro. It's one of them ones. Is like, yes, you kind of should have set the precedent that it is what it is, but at the same time. 
I don't know a single guy that would get moved to by a girl on a night out, get dragged back to their yard, so you say. Mm. I'm sure you had some part to play. <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't... If it's exactly how you painted it, which I doubt it is, but if it is, if a girl moved to me on a night out, dragged me back to a yard, we banged, and then I'm moving reckless the next week. Like we said, I would expect her to just firm the L and you can't, you don't have a right to, to mm. say nothing to me. She, mm. These girls don't have a right to do these things to you. I'm not saying that you deserve it. Yeah. I'm just saying there's consequences to this Fractions, life. Yeah, man, of course. Yeah, the streets are unforgiving. Yeah, man, they're relentless. Yeah, you don't get to just do what you want. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, maybe you should have set some kind of, it depends. If you're doing it every week and it's happening more than once, then that's your own fault. Of course, you're. If you're, you're, the, 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 you're part of your own problem. Yeah, yeah. If you if you've got if you've been beefed more than once for doing the same shit, then it's all your fault, and you deserve <laughs> everything. <laughs> you deserve everything, bro. If one girl comes up to you and says, "What the fuck?" and then you're like, "Oh, what? I, I thought you knew it was da 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 da," mm. and then she's like, "Nah, what the fuck?" etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then the very next week, you try it again, and then the week from the girl from the week before does the same thing. Yes. What are you doing, bro? This, this is your problem. This now. is your problem now. Yeah. Um. And this four waiting. Fam, you're a liar. You're either a liar or it's three brares and one girl. <laughs> it's three brares and one girl. The man fam. said he's patterned a friendship group for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, he said he banged his way through a friendship group on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What? Friendship? Where are you meeting these girls? To be fair, he wow. said it's from my ends. Okay. So if it's from my ends. I'm not really sure specifically what, and I'm not trying to bait him out either. Yeah. I'm not really sure specifically what ends he's referring to. Yeah. But if he's he said your old ends. Yeah. And I'm thinking of. But then again, he time. might not know what's my old ends or what uh, my current uh, ends is uh, or whatever. Uh, uh, uh. So if he's, if he's at where I think he's at, mm. then I 100% can see how he's scooping up this level of pump. Okay. 100%. Okay. Because like you said, he's in a town where there's only really one spot to go, which makes me think I know what Enzi's talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And one million percent. Was the spot we used to go to quite a bit? No. 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 Okay. no. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Okay. No, no, no. I know what you're talking about, but no. Okay. Um, I think, no, I think he's talking... Uh, a completely different town. Maybe. I think, okay. I think I know what you're saying. Oh, actually, he might be talking about not the same spot we went to. But the same town. Same town. Okay. Um, And yeah, for his age... Yeah. There is kind of one or two spots that mm. you can go to. And, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll scoop up. Oh, say less. You'll scoop up. Say less. You'll scoop up. And it makes sense about, like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoop up thing. Um, so, yeah, bro. Um, I don't know what to tell you, really. You either, you either get strict with your movements and make this a professional sport. <clears throat> Or you keep running around like an amateur and get drinks dashed in your face. That's the truth, it's man. It's literally up to you. That's the, try your luck in a different city. See how good you are. That's, that's when you know you... Yeah, because you, you sound you like really, Billy Big Ball yeah, at the minute. you feel like you've got the sauce now. <laughs> try it in London. Yeah, hit the road. <laughs> hit the road. Go to Brom. Yeah, you need to become a road dog. That's what we did. We learned that the hard way. We got comfortable in Coventry. Yeah. We got comfortable in yeah. it. We took it to the big S cities. spread our wings. Yeah, we learned real quick. It's not about that. <laughs> yeah, humble pie, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. These oh, yeah. big man, they were shit on you, fam. <laughs> You don't know about these local man. Yeah. Yeah, because you're doing bits in your local town. Mm. Try and compete against local man in their local town. Mm. It's a different That's story, it. fam. Yeah, you feel yeah, you yeah, think yeah, you're yeah. building rapport with the yeah. thing? No. Man will click his fingers and say, come here. <laughs> she scatters off. Heels scatters off. Ah. Oh, it's Mars heartbreaking. It is, but it's the way of the world, mind you. But you're on your little run now. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Cause it's not going to stay like that forever, my dog. Yeah. It's really not. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, you are kind of are the asshole, kind of not. It's a mm. tough one. But anyway, guys, <sighs> sorry we bored you for the last half an hour with Fight Talk. Unless you like Fight Talk and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but guys, end of the app. Love, love, love. Gang, See you on gang, Thursday. Gang. Yeah,